Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Real Madrid up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, I have to say, Real played some great football in that first game. If they play with the same urgency today, they should win this one comfortably. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. It's a short one. Well, whether it's a great chance or a half chance, when you're trailing as they are, you've got to put them away. Well, if they are going to get back into this, those are the sort of chances they have to take. And so they starting 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Joshua Kimmich starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Kingsley Coman starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Corner for Bayern then. and played short well that's how to keep the opposition at bay so a deflection and they can get ready for the corner kick routine well worth I think at this stage going back to the chance from earlier they play with a short one here now delivering that deep cross. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, let's take another look, because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, that makes it interesting. And suddenly, he's showing a bit of concern here. Just look at his face. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Mendy. This is Kroos. Jude Bellingham. Mendy has it. Course, making quite a bit of progress and passing it well and Bellingham can he take the chance oh really commanding goalkeeping well they're in front but they'd love another here just to give them that bit of breathing space Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Easy save, Neuer. Well, it wasn't first-class distribution. Played 
in there by Danny Carvajal. Just the clearance that was called for. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Come on! And a goal it is. And what a significant one. They're locked together again. You just can't divide these two teams. An extra time, a real possibility. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and Coleman couldn't hit this any better. What a great finish this is. So, back underway, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. But the referee letting him know any more like that and he will go into the book, Stuart. Yeah, he knows he can't commit another foul now. Vinicius Junior just sliding back a bit to get on the ball. What can Real do from this position? Cavajal. And now Rodrigo. Could be! Oh, a goal! And one that could really matter in the quest to make it through. Here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. Well, you can understand Ancelotti's delight. That's a big moment in this match. Leroy Zane. Oh, he looks threatening. And giving the ball away. Goretzka. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Vinicius Junior. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Looks useful. Oh, great defending. Eric Dyer. That is how to apply the pressure. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Kane. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Vinicius Junior running with the ball confidently. Tony Kroos and Bellingham. 
Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Counter attacking, very much an option. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. Cross. No possibilities inside the box. Rodrigo. And there the move ends for now. 30 minutes left for play. Cross has support. But nothing comes of it. Kane. Tony Kroos. It's an accurate pass from Kroos. Is this the moment? Well, opportunity to extend their advantage. Squander. Well, what a chance that is. He should have scored there. it well Kane and he got to it fairly easily Mendy he has time to play us over across lacking guile and accuracy And Bayern finding space on the flank. Real chance. Oh, my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Now can they counter clinically? Chance to finish. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. And cleared away without much fuss. A throw-in coming up now. but the advantage with Real Madrid Joshua Kimmich this is Koman. De Ligt and the challenge halts them in their tracks Vinicius Jr. And clears his lines. And Kimmich couldn't keep it. Tony Kroos. Rodrigo. Surely. In it goes. And it should be the goal. Then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Poor man. Able to skip past his man. And quick thinking defensively. And that's it. Official now. Real Madrid have made it to the final. Yeah, they were decent over the two games. They created lots of chances. They played with great energy. And they had a well-structured game plan. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round.